Yeah, first of all, thanks the organizer for giving me the opportunity to speak here. I'm gonna talk about fields and strings. This is based on two papers. The first one is with Matthias Gabadiel Rajes and Bob Knighton. The second one is with Faison Bhatt Rajes and Bharat Kumar Radhakrishnan. Okay, uh, one dominant perspective in the string community before the advent of ADS safety is that strings are ultimate building blocks of nature. For example, galaxies are made of matter, matter are made of molecules, molecules are made of atoms, atoms are made of electron, proton, neutron, they are made of quarks, and quarks are made of strings. But a different viewpoint emerged after ADS safety, which says that strings are emerging geometry from the field theories. I will present my talk based on this emergence of strings from field theories. But what is ADS safety? ADS safety is a conjecture duality between string theory on ADS5 times S5 bulk and a particular Young Mills theory on its boundary. But it's magical that a field theory can reorganize itself into a string theory. For example, take a particle, if it moves in the space time, it creates a trajectory, it is called world line. If a string moves in space time, it creates a 2D surface, it's called world sheet. So how a theory of particles, theory of trajectories, can reorganize itself into a theory of surfaces, theory of areas. So one mechanism for this was put forward by Rajesh a few years ago. And we'll show some explicit demonstrations of this mechanism, in particular examples of 2D safety and 4D safety. So let's start with 2D safety. I'll talk about symmetric product or before safety. It's a special kind of safety in the sense that you have a copies of sigma model, that means 2D safeties, and then you identify them by some permutation group. Naturally, there are two kinds of states here. One is called untwisted operator, which is unaffected by this permutation symmetry. And there are twisted operators, which has some monodromy behavior in the sense that if you take an operator from any of this sheet and drag it around the twist operator, you will reach to a different sheet. Only after revolving W times, you will reappear where you started. So in this sense, the twist operator introduces some defects or some monodromy. So we are interested in computing the correlator of twist operators. As I said, twist operator introduces some local wrapping. We can combine all these local wrappings near all the insertion points of the correlator to form a global covering surface. This global covering surface has been coordinatized by Z and the 2D space time where the conformal field theory lives have been coordinatized by X. We can compute the degree of the covering map in terms of lengths of the twist operators, these WIs. Okay. Now the trick to compute the correlator is to uplift the calculation on the covering surface because on the covering surface, the twist operator disappears. Their monodromy behavior is captured by the surface itself because the surface has some local wrapping behavior near the insertion points. So basically the computation of correlator becomes the computation of partition function on the covering surface manifold. And this gets contribution something like this where SL is called Louisville action. So in summary, the correlator is given by some sum of different contributions of covering surfaces. Okay, now, so to compute the correlator, we need to know the covering map and the genus zero covering map, genus zero covering map has this rational form where you don't know the poles. To determine the poles, we have a set of equations, but solving them are very, very difficult problem because you can see they are coupled equations. But in the large end limit, in the limit when the twist operator has large dimension, they, they, they wraps largely, then these equations are nothing but a saddle point equation to a uh, matrix model. Matrix model means basically a quantum mechanics at zero plus zero dimension. Anyway, if you have done the advanced stat physics course, then you know that there are two kinds of forces in a matrix model. One is called Coulomb repulsion force that comes from the van der Monde determinant. And there is some external potential for us, it is logarithmic. So under the action of these two forces, the eigenvalues of the matrix model, which are poles of the covering maps, that is what we are after. They, they collapsed to form a cut in the covering surface. So I repeat the poles of the covering map or less in the large end limit to form a cut. And all this distribution of eigenvalues are encoded in a curve called spectral curve, which has some branch cut, as you can see, 
The discontinuity across the branch cut gives you the density of eigenvalues localized in that cut. Okay, so so far let, let me summarize. We are trying to compute the correlator of the 2D conformal field theory. For that, we need to know the covering surface. To know the covering surface, we, we, we map that problem to a matrix model and, and, and to an eigenvalue distribution. And all of that information is encoded in the spectral curve given here. So if we know the spectral curve, in principle, we know the correlator. Now, magically, it turns out that the spectral curve has some branch cuts, and these branch cuts form a dual Feynman diagram. So if the original Feynman diagram of the 2D CFT is given by these colored figures, the dual Feynman diagram is created by these collapsed eigenvalues. Now, another magic comes from the observation that the spectral curve is nothing but a very special kind of quadratic differential called stable differential, and this sets a metric on the covering surface. So why this connection of spectral curve, matrix model, and stable differential in interesting? This is because of a famous theorem by Strabel, which says that a unique Strabel differential correspond to a point in the string path integral. Now, as I have shown that the correlator is given by the contribution from each covering map, and each covering map is related to a spectral curve. Now, in the last slide, I told you the spectral curve is stable differential. Then if you follow this thread, starting from a field theory contribution of covering map, you would reach a point in the string module space. Sorry, string. Module space means the string path integral. So this is the connection that starting from a field theory, con field theory correlator contribution, you can reach to a point in the string path integral contribution. So you can wonder, okay, we, we map this summation of gamma, summation of covering surfaces to a string path integral, but what about the sum end, this exponential of Louisville action? Now under our dictionary of matrix model, stable differential, blah, 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 this, this action basically becomes the area of the covering surface. So in summary, we get the correlator of the 2D CFT as some string path integral weighted by a Nambukoto-like action that is a string amplitude. So it expresses the correlator of the 2D CFT as some string amplitude. Okay, this is the flowchart of what I said so far. And this side is string theory, this side is field theory, and this side is auxiliary matrix model. To, to show the connection between field theory and string theory, we take help of this matrix model. So right now it is an auxiliary system. But anyway, maybe there is a connection, maybe there is a triality or whatever. I'm not going to talk about that. And pictorially, what is happening is that we are, we are gluing these different weak contractions of the field theory to form a surface, and that is becoming a string theory path integral. Okay, now in the remaining time, I want to talk about something for 4D gauge theory. So let's consider some scalar operators of a particular Young Mills theory. At the tree level, the correlator is given by sum of products of weak contractions. So take two such points, there are weak contractions between them. And for this particular two point function, consider this covering map, covering surface. So for a two point function, you can put it on a plane. And the covering map, the covering surface is also from a 2D surface to the 2D, 2D surface. So if you compute the stable area of this covering surface, this becomes the two point function. And so you can add up all these two point functions, take products, etc., and get the field theory correlators. So in conclusion, what I have shown is that the correlator of the conformal field theory, both in 2D and 4D, for particular examples considered, in the free limit where there is no coupling between the in the field theory you can express that as some string amplitude roughly as some string path integral integral over all possible world seats for outlook i want to mention that there is a, there are recent program called hexagonalization which uses some integrability of 2d conform 2d particular 2d integrable quantum field theories to compute the correlator of the supersymmetric young mills theory in terms of patching different hexagons. So as there is a surface involved in this story, so it is natural but or likely that there is a connection to our program with this program. Second, uh, I want to mention that there might be connection with perturbative Millin amplitude of this Young Mills theory. And of course the holy grail is to find the string dual of quantum chromodynamics in fourth dimension, which describe the physics of interaction of gluons and quarks. And with it, I want to conclude my talk. 
thank you pranavish for the nice talk we can have questions so, so the um, um, discovering structure seemed to rely on the fact that you had an orbifold but but the orbifold theory is a free theory so uh, how do you make this correspondence you know more general well, uh, if, you, if you're not at the orbifold point. Yeah, yeah. For example, in the 4D shape cake book, this is normal Young Mills theory, right? And the orbifolding kind of picture comes from the weak contraction picture. Okay. So in the weak contraction, you have a number of propagators. So each propagator is kind of wrapping a sphere. So if you have W propagators, it, it is wrapping the sphere W times. So there is an orbifolding picture even for Young Mills theory based on SUN or whatever. I mean, the first example was orbifold, but the second example is for is for generic single trace operators in gas theories. But yeah. Okay, thank you. This uh, when you mentioned this uh, 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 poles, and there was a matrix model for it, which had two competing terms, and then you described one particular phase where all these poles coalesced. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is uh, so is there a critical value at which they don't coalesce in this matrix model? Like, is there a phase transition or something like that? Yeah, in the large and limit, they will collapse to form a cut, right? Because there are two kind of forces. But there is a ungapped phase as well. Where, okay. Like, just asking, is there a physical uh, interpretation of that? But but you you have infinite number of eigenvalues, right? And they are under four, two, two opposite forces. You're asking whether there can be gap. Yeah, I mean, there can be some finite in effect where there is a gap. I mean, some instant on effects in the matrix model, but for the saddle point approximation, it seems to me they will collapse. But you're correct. There might be some contribution where there is a gap between eigenvalues, some tunneling or something, yeah. Uh, any more questions? Uh, if no, we can thank Pranavis again for the nice talk.